So one of the most common problems faced by anybody who's trying to connect their smartphone to the dash cam is that they cannot enable mobile data in their smartphone because basically the smartphone prioritizes the dash cam's hotspot, the Wi-Fi network, and it disables the mobile data automatically. So basically you end up having no internet connection. You can only stream what the dash cam shows you and you practically cannot use your smartphone for any other purposes. Well, that's a very simple and easy solution to this particular problem. So in this video, I'm going to show you those simple steps, those easy steps which you can follow through after you watch this video and get mobile data on your smartphone along with getting an active dash cam live streaming on the smartphone as well. So before you watch the rest of this video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and also don't forget to like this video as well. You're watching Travel Tech. Let's get started. All right, so as you're seeing right now, I have mounted the Next Digitron Prime Plus dash cam. It's currently turned on and I've connected to my smartphone using the GuardiCam app. So as you can see, the Prime Plus is currently connected to my smartphone, streaming onto the smartphone screen. And on top, as you can see, there is a Wi-Fi logo here with an exclamation mark, meaning it's connected to the Wi-Fi, but there is no internet connection available within this Wi-Fi network. And that's completely correct because the smartphone has connected to the dash cams Wi-Fi hotspot network and basically that doesn't have an internet. So what's currently being displayed on the smartphone is perfectly accurate. So now if we try to enable the mobile data, so as you're currently seeing on the screen right now, the Wi-Fi has been enabled to connect to the dash cam. The GPS also has been enabled, but the mobile data is currently turned off. And what happens if I turn it on? So as you can see, even after I've turned on the switch for mobile data, there is no mobile data indication on top of my smartphone. The mobile networks are showing just as they were showing before. There is no specific indication of any 4G or a 5G connection, but the Wi-Fi connection is still on. So this is a very common problem faced by many dash cam users. You are able to connect to the dash cam's Wi-Fi hotspot, but once you do that, you are not able to connect to the mobile data on your smartphone, leading to a lot of loss of services. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem, connect to the dash cams network along with getting mobile data connection. So what you need to do in order to solve this problem is head into the settings of the smartphone. Once you head into the settings, open up the Wi-Fi network. So as you're seeing right now, here is the Wi-Fi network option currently toggled as on and it's also displaying the currently connected network that's next digit on 5G. So let's click on that. And here, as you can see, it says connected without internet. And that's exactly what's being represented on top a Wi-Fi network without the internet connection. So what you need to do next is click on these three dotted buttons on the top right corner, click on the more options, then head into the intelligent Wi-Fi. So once you head into the intelligent Wi-Fi, you have an option called as switch to mobile data and it's enabled as well. So keep it enabled, no need to disable this, but click on this switch to mobile data option. So once you click on the switch to mobile data option, within this you get a separate option called as network exceptions. This means your phone will remain connected to these networks even if the connection is unstable. So this basically means your smartphone will prioritize the dash cam network or any Wi-Fi network that it connects to even though the connection is unstable, basically what's happening right now because of the next digit on Prime Plus connection. So in order to change that, let's head into the network exceptions option. So once you click on that, so as you can see here, there is a long list of Wi-Fi networks, basically all the different dash cams which I've connected to my smartphone, all the networks are listed right here. So within this list, since I've currently connected the next digit on Prime Plus, I need to search for that particular network. Okay, so as you're seeing right now, here on top you can see the network next to it on 9772BC 5G. So this is the exact network which I've connected to for the next to on Prime, as you can see right now here, next to it on 9772BC 5G. So this is the SSID name for the Wi-Fi network of the Prime Plus, and it's being displayed in this network exceptions tab. So what happens is, you need to go ahead and click on this deselect button right here, the minus button here on that specific network. So let me just click on that. 
So as soon as you clicked on that minus button, you get a 5G connection right here on top. If you are seeing on the screen right now, the mobile data has now been enabled. So let's just see what's the status with the dash cam network. So, so let's just open up the Guardi Cam app. All right, so as you're seeing right now, the dash cam is streaming on my smartphone. And at the same time, I have the 5G network logo popping up right here on top of the screen. So this is basically how you can connect your smartphone to the dash cam and at the same time connect to the mobile data network as well. So just scrolling down again to show you the Wi-Fi has been turned on, mobile data is turned on and the GPS is turned on. So both things are happening at the same time connected to the dash cams Wi-Fi network and at the same time connected to the 5G network that is the mobile data network of my smartphone. So these are the simple and the easy steps which you too can follow in your smartphone and get a mobile data connection simultaneously while using the dash cams Wi-Fi network. So simple, neat, easy and a clean procedure to get mobile data on your smartphone while at the same time streaming the dash cam feed on your smartphone screen so if you have any queries or any doubts regarding this or if you were not able to follow through these steps in your smartphone you can always dm me on my facebook or the instagram page i'll try to get back to you and solve your problems as soon as possible and of course if you did like this video and if this video has helped you out in any way make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now smash that like button and also don't go away without hitting the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload such amazing videos. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Insta and the WhatsApp page. The links to those are given in the description for some behind the scenes stuff. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.